Hello friends. Welcome to Next Step Academy. In this video we will be going through most important topic in electronic industry. Let's start with a common question. What is VLSI? Life without gadgets can be simply miserable. We cannot think of a day without electronic devices. The day begins with a digital alarm clock and the word digital travels with us throughout the day. Wherever we go, and whatever we do. These electronic gadgets have already left a huge impact on our lifestyle. People of all ages are using different types of gadgets. It is now practically impossible to live life without these items. Managing to-do list to maintaining all contacts, all our activities are controlled by gadgets and gizmos. Cell phones lie at the center of our life. Reminders, to-dos, contacts, emails, everything can be tracked with the latest cell phone set. Music lovers can buy a mobile phone with good sound quality, radio and enough memory to store songs. iPods are also quite popular among music lovers these days. iPhones and iPads are two latest innovations that have huge potential. iPhones do not need any explanation here. All are aware of this magical invention iPads have been invented to bridge the gap between mobile phones and netbooks. This device is likely to undergo more advancement in future to come up as an indispensable item for us. Now question is what is that makes these devices to work so smartly? What is hard of these devices? Answer to that question is. It is a chip. Integrated zero it chip. Using VLSI technology these it chips are designed and created. Very large-scale integration referred as VLSI is the process of creating an integrated circuit ic, by combining thousands of transistors into a single chip. VLSI was began in the 1970s when complex semiconductor and communication technologies were being developed. The microprocessor is a VLSI device. Before the introduction of VLSI technology most ICs had a limited set of functions they could perform. An electronic circuit might consist of a CPU, ROM, RAM and other glue logic. VLSI lets IC designers add all of these into one chip. The VLSI design cycle starts with a formal specification of a VLSI chip, follows a series of steps, and eventually produces a packaged chip. Let's go through each to understand the process involved in each phase. Specification phase. The first step of any design process is to lay down the specifications of the system. System specification is a high-level representation of the system. The factors to be considered in this process include performance, functionality, and physical dimensions, size of the die, chip. The fabrication technology and design techniques are also considered while creating specification. Architecture phase. The basic architecture of the system is designed in this phase. This includes such decisions as risk, reduced instruction set computer, versus CISC, complex instruction set computer, number of LS, floating point units number and structure of pipelines, and size of caches among others. The outcome of our architectural design is a micro-architectural specification, MOS. While MOS is a textual, English-like, description, architects can accurately predict the performance, power and die size of the design based on such a description. Design phase. In this step the control flow, word widths, register allocation, arithmetic operations, and logic operations of the design that represent the functional design are derived. This description is called register transfer level, RTL, description. RTL is expressed in a hardware description language, HDL, such as VHDL or Verilog. This description consists of Boolean expressions and timing information. The Boolean expressions are minimized to achieve the smallest logic design which conforms to the functional design. This logic design of the system is simulated and tested to verify its correctness. In some special cases, logic design can be automated using high-level synthesis tools. 
these tools produce a RTL description from a behavioral description of the design. Verification phase. Verification phase is an important phase of the LSI flow, where 70% of time is spent in this phase. In this phase using system Verilog test pinch the root logic is simulated and tested with various scenarios to verify its correctness. Synthesis phase. Using logic synthesis tool Needlist is created and shared to physical design team. Needlist is nothing but circuit diagram representation of RTL logic, which has cells, macros, gates and transistors. Back end phase. In this step the circuit representation, or needlist, is converted into a geometric representation. As stated earlier, this geometric representation of a circuit is called a layout. Layout is created by converting each logic component, cells, macros, gates, transistors, into a geometric representation, specific shapes in multiple layers, which perform the intended logic function of the corresponding component. Tape out phase. After layout and verification, the design is ready for fabrication. Since layout data is typically sent to fabrication on a tape, the event of release of data is called tape out. Layout data is converted, or fractured, into photolithographic masks, one for each layer. Masks identify spaces on the wafer where certain materials need to be deposited, diffused, or even removed. Silicon crystals are grown and sliced to produce wafers. Extremely small dimensions of the LSI devices require that the wafers be polished to near perfection. The fabrication process consists of several steps involving deposition and diffusion of various materials on the wafer. During each step one mask is used. Several dozen masks may be used to complete the fabrication process. A large wafer is 20 centimeters, 8 inch, in diameter and can be used to produce hundreds of chips, depending on the size of the chip. Before the chip is mass produced, a prototype is made and tested. Industry is rapidly moving towards a 30 centimeters, 12 inch, wafer allowing even more chips per wafer leading to lower cost per chip. Foundry phase. Finally. The wafer is fabricated and diced into individual chips in a fabrication facility. Each chip is then packaged and tested to ensure that it meets all the design specifications and that it functions properly. Chips used in printed circuit boards, PCBs, are packaged in dual in-line package, DIP, PIN grid array, PGA, ball grid array, BGA, and quad flat package, QFP. Chips used in multi-chip modules, MCM, are not packaged, since MCMs use bare or naked chips. In this slide we have listed some of the VLSI companies which currently working. This is end of video. Hope this video helps you to understand about VLSI industry. Thank you. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked our video, Please click like button and subscribe to our channel for more updates.